Hello. I um, made these guys a long time ago, and uh, I'm kind of, I don't know, just saving them for, I guess, a rainy day. There's a couple of different Fallout figures that I haven't posted videos for, but I've got pictures of them up online. But um, I saved these guys just, you know, when I felt like making videos. So um, if you're a Fallout fan and you're a fan of a fan of a fan of the uh, factions, then fuck, man, this is your dream come true probably because um, New Vegas, I think, had the best faction battle to date because um, these guys were just fucking ruthless. And, man, I, I fucking hated them. I loved killing these guys. And then these guys were kind of assholes, too, but whatever. Um, I, I still always kind of took their side. But, um, um, so Kaisar is Legion. Um, the only person I heard in the fucking game say it right is Chris Christopherson. He says Caesar, but I guess it's Kaisar. Everyone else says Kaisar. I don't know, is that like something to do with the post-apocalypse? It's like me, I don't know how to fucking pronounce shit, so. Kaisar is Legion. So, um... God, man, I wish I knew these ranks better, but, um, God, it's, I fucking, I only knew it when I looked them up, but I always knew this was a recruit. I don't even know if that actually now, Jesus. Um, I think that's a veteran and a Vixtrilicist or something like that, a Vantriloquist, and then the fucking, the Legate, which, man, um, I fucking love this guy. This, I fucking shit my pants when I saw this guy. I laughed. When I saw Kaisar, I shit my pants when I saw this guy. Um, not to mention, I blew that fucker's head off in like two seconds. This guy, you know, he's running around and shit in the open, so he's a little bit fucking more. Anyways, um, uh, so okay, so what I did with the with the Kaisar Legion here, um, this is really simple. And I got fucking four of these guys when they were on clearance a long time ago, but it's a Clash of the Titans. Um, figure. I can't remember what the character's name is, but the main guy. But, uh, perfect. And, uh, if you go online, if you, if you Google search Fallout Customs, you'll see, uh, this guy, Blaine Scott. I think it's his name, Blaine Scott. He also used these guys. Um, and, uh, but, uh, I ended up trimming off, um, he had a belt with the little hangy things. I trimmed that off because he already had this. He didn't really need them. And uh, cut off pretty much, um, like, all these little extras. Like, he had the knee pads that went up. Fucking cut those off. Um, like, on this guy here, I cut off his fucking wrist thing all the way. You can see right here where I kind of put some clay on there and uh, covered it up. But there was a little hole there where they glued it in. But, um... So yeah, I just I trimmed all that stuff off, and uh, the armor, he had a chest plate too, I trimmed off. Yeah, I don't know, his hand just got loose all of a sudden, it didn't used to do that, motherfucker. But, um, that's how old they are, man, these is back when I had white clay, when I first started. Um, but, uh, and then just tried to model, I couldn't find pictures of the backs, so I just fucking winged it. I kind of went off what I already knew pads looked like, I guess. Even though they probably should have had some tie downs in them. Anyways, I didn't give a fuck. You don't really look at the back, anyways. Um, which I was just going to go into on that there. Um, I will use trickery sometimes. I just try to like make the whole thing look good enough to where maybe sometimes you can hide things. Like, uh, like, uh, <laughs> see that now? Um, I don't know if you could tell back there, but it's chain mail. This is the, uh, the head of, um, uh, what the fuck is that fucking game? Dante's Inferno. Um, it's that guy's head. And, uh, I just razored off the top of his noggin and blended that. And, uh, I just, you know, I figured most people would be looking at it from a distance. They wouldn't be picking it up and staring at it. Um, but, you know, it's very corny looking. But I wanted this. Now I would have just sculpted it, honestly. I would have just sculpted it and fucking, he would have, his head would have moved just a little less. But it would have looked fucking right. This is... I made these a long time ago, so... Um, but, you know... Um, these are like little bamboo things from something. But cut some cloth, and that's pretty obvious. Just painted it. Looks pretty bad up close. Well... It's not, I guess it's not that bad, but whatever. Um, so, with, so with the Legate... I... Um, 
I used a uh, Art Asylum Klingon. Yeah, the the main guy from from one of the fucking series, but he's huge. So here's the issue that I had with this set here. These Clash of the Titans guys are just a little bit taller than a Marvel figure. And everything I've been using is mostly Marvel or DC, which are pretty scaled. You know, they're scaled pretty close. And uh, these are just... Oop, there goes the burping. Um, these are just slightly uh, slightly taller. But, so, so that's about the height. I probably just a little bit taller than this guy is what I would have wanted for, for a legate. But because these guys... I was like, fuck, because he's got to be huge. Because these guys are taller, I had to go with a taller fucking figure that I would have really wanted to go with. But it's still pretty cool. Because, I, I mean, come on, man. He's got to be a big fucking dude. And, uh... This is probably before I used foil, so that was probably just fucking clay. Yeah, I think it's got a little bend to it. I don't know, actually. It might have been foil in there. But, um, this is a Jurassic Park fucking thing. It's bends. That's what I wanted. Um, because I didn't want it to break ever. I'd rather have it be floppy than fucking break. Um, but that's the fucking bumper sword. Um, I didn't, I did the, I did the the actual bumper sword, because his is the fucking sword of the Northwest or something like that. And, um, it doesn't have the license plate. I was like, man, come on, you gotta put, you can't fucking put the, the noticeable emblem on the fucking regular thing. You gotta put it on the, the fucking bad guy's fucking, or the special weapon. Whatever. That's just a dumb thing they did. But, so I put the fucking license plate on there, because I think it looks, you know, and then you know it's a fucking bumper. Anyways. So, oh yeah, and then the head does come off. Um, I used to, it's the guy from, uh, God, I hate painting faces. I hate fucking painting faces. But, oh god. I, um, thank god his helmet's on all the fucking time. But, um, what I do is I, I put the foil around, and then I just do like a layer of clay just to harden it, and then I'll start sculpting over it. And I did this one in a couple steps, because this is this was a lot of fucking work doing doing this. And I like cruising, so I had to slow it down a bunch, and and uh, I even fucking was like, fuck this. I didn't, I didn't detail that back bit. It just looks like hair in the front, not in the back. I didn't detail this either. Come on, get off. See that? With his helmet on, it's kind of covered. But, you know, I would have normally fucking shaved this down as much as I could and then blended fucking hard clay so it looked like the cape was, you know, continuing somewhere and ended somewhere instead of just looking like I cut a fucking toy's cape off. But this is some of the hokey things I do, and, they're, you know, it's hidden, so you don't really fucking see it unless I point it out to you. I don't know, unless you got a good eye. I mean, fuck. Some people have really good fucking eyes on that shit. But... Um, I'm surprised this, none of these have chipped off. This guy's fucking visor chipped. So anyways, we'll move on to these now. Um, the NCR fucking troopers and the NCR ranger. Um, God, these guys are fucking awesome looking. I mean, who the fuck, who the fuck doesn't like their look? They're bitching. <coughs> um, so this is a Nick Fury figure um, from the early Marvel Legends Hasbro figures. Um, I think he's actually worth a lot of money, like 50 bucks or some shit, um, but, um, this is actually a fucking Kree soldier's head, because <laughs> I have like fucking 300 of them, because I bought a bunch of those sets, which are now all gone, I sold them on eBay now, but anyways, um, I liked Nick Fury's fucking head, so I kept it, and I still have it somewhere to use, you know, in case I don't feel like sculpting somebody's fucking face, which I don't typically. I, you know, I don't want to spend that much time on characters like these. I just want to cruise through them. But not really much I did here. I just sculpted the the, the bottom torso there and then the upper. Um, I took the jacket off to do that and then put it back on. But the back is not... Oh, wait, the back is sculpted. Fuck, I didn't realize I did that. Shit. This is the top one? No, the top one is not. Just the bottom. Anyways, fucking break them just to, just to see. But anyways... Um, it's very simple. Uh, this one here, uh, with these guys, I actually have four more, I actually have two more of these too, so I'm probably going to end up using them. 
But these are the, again, earlier Marvel Legends Hasbro figures, the uh, Hydra Troopers, and uh, or agents or whatever the fuck they are. Um, but yeah, they already had the the kind of look that I was hoping for. Um, I just cut these down and then kind of trimmed them. So you know, if you're looking at it this way, it doesn't look so bad. But you know, again, you're not fucking you're not looking at it underneath. So from underneath. But um, and then these are creators wrestlers heads because those other ones are huge. The he the their fucking Hydra heads were crazy on these fucking two figures. Totally didn't match any of the other figures. So, yeah, these are wrestling heads. They're just a little smaller. I didn't have to do any fucking trimming or anything. So, um, that's really it. Like, this is, uh, <laughs> I never did anything to it. I just trimmed his beard down and I had to do the fucking, that fucking turtleneck thing. It's fucking badass looking. Little clam. For guys are. Anyways, I'm going to playing mode. But I um I do plan on adding some uh, some more NCR characters too. Not characters, but like I want to do um you know the guys that wear the fucking the cool like sergeant hats, the like cool looking drill sergeant hats. So there's a couple of cool looking um, and then also just two more regular troopers, and, you know, I want to make Kaisar too, and, uh, and then probably some more of these, but, anyways, that's it for now.